In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool infinite looping effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. Now, before we jump into Adobe Premiere Pro, it's really important that we have the right footage. And in order to create this effect, we want to start behind an object. We want to pan the camera across and then disappear behind another object. So we've got an in point and out point, and then there's camera movement in the middle and you want to loop this multiple different times. So in my example, I've got the same location, but the object is changing. And it's also really important that the speed that you move the camera and the direction that you move the camera is the same for every different shot. So as you can see in my example, I start behind this post, I come to the left, you see this object and then I disappear again. And then we do the same for the next object. And then we do the same for this object. And then we also did the same for this object. So right to left. So it's really important that you have that consistency there because that's what's going to help to create this endless looping feel. Of course, you don't have to have the same location. You could change location. Just keep that movement the same. Keep the speed of the movement the same and then make sure you have that transition in and transition out. So when you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first just want to begin by cutting down all of your video. So I did this multiple times, so I'm just going to cut the start and the end of each video. So this is the start, this is the end, cut. I'm gonna do the same for the next clip. So this was the start and this is the end. Then the same on the third clip. This is the start. This is the end. And then again on that last clip, this was our start point and this is our end point. And then you just want to delete every other video that you have on the timeline. So all of the stuff we're not using and then just close the gap between all of these clips. And let's just play back what we've got so far. So that's good, but you can definitely see the cuts in this. So this is where we're going to do a little bit of overlaying in order to make this feel really seamless. So we're just going to scroll through to the end of the first clip where the screen goes black and we'll drag the second video up and across. So as you can see, there's this nice overlay here, but the problem is you definitely see this cut here. It goes light to dark. So we're just going to pull loop two down to 0% on opacity, create a brand new keyframe. Then we'll scroll through to the end of loop one and we'll pull that up to 100%. Let's see how that looks. There you go. That feels really seamless now. And we'll do the same thing from two to three as well. So we'll go through to the point where the screen is filled. Then we'll just drag loop three over. And you want to make sure that the screen is black for this entire transition. So there we go. At this point, we'll pull that down to 0%. Brand new key from amount of opacity. Go to the end of two and we'll pull that up. So there should be this really nice opacity fade. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on loop four as well. So you want to go through to the point where the screen fills, add a few more frames on. The same thing with the in on the other one create that nice overlay and then we'll pull down to 0% brand new keyframe, go through to the end of the previous layer and 100%. So we get this nice fade. So let's play this back from the very beginning and see where we are at so far. There you go. You can see we've got this really nice endless loop effect now happening. And of course, because the movement is the same, that transition point is the same, you can just keep endlessly looping this over and over again. So if we right click and select nest on all of these layers, you've effectively now turned all of these videos into one layer. So we can actually loop this multiple times. So we'll make a copy of this layer. So we'll go command C, command V. Then we'll just do that same process again. So at the end of this one, you just want to drag the first one over, pull that down to zero, move across to the end and go up to 100%. And that creates that cycle all over again. So we'll just play this back. And this is just going to keep looping over and over again. And of course, because this is now just on this endless loop, of course, you can always speed this up so we can nest all of these layers and then go into speed slash duration and we'll go 200%. And now the entire project has been affected. Of course, though, if you wanted, you can pull this up. We'll right click, go into show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. 
Then you want to go through to the point where we're transitioning. So we'll go about here. Select the pen tool, create a brand new point there. Then you just want to increase the gap between these two points here. So this is going to be our transition in. Then we'll just pull this up to around 200%. And then once we've completed this transition, so around here, we'll create another point, split those keyframes like this, and then we'll pull this line back down to 100%. So essentially we've made a nice speed ramp through that transition and that's given this this really nice seamless transition. So just keep repeating that process over and over again for every single time that happens. Before I carry on with the rest of the video, I first just want to take a quick break to talk about the Brooker Films courses. If you're enjoying these shorter videos that I post to YouTube, then I think you'll love the longer form content that I post on Skillshare. For example, one of the courses that I have on Skillshare is a three hour plus introduction to Premiere Pro. And this course covers everything from import settings to importing your footage, to masking, to multicam editing, to green screen. There's so much in that course and I'm able to get more detailed and more thorough in this course. So if you're new to Premiere Pro, if you're just looking for some up-to-date advice on how to use Premiere, then this course is for you. So click the link in the description below to check out that Premiere Pro course. So there you go. That is how you create this really awesome and creative looping video transition inside of Adobe Premiere Pro using a few different techniques. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.